Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to log in to Khan Academy um, and use that. This is what we're going to be sending kind of some math lessons home with. Um, it'll be all online, there'll be some videos that go with it, and then some kind of short quizzes and stuff that go with it as well. So here's how we'll log into Khan Academy. So make sure I'm recording here. So first we're going to go to khanacademy.org. It'll look just like this. Um, don't worry about anything down here. The only thing we need is the login. Um, there's also an app for this on um, iOS and Android, and I believe Amazon Fire. Just make sure you look for the uh, this Khan Academy logo up here. There is a Khan Academy Kids, but that's a different app that we're not using. So make sure it's it's this one, and then the login will be the same. You'll just go right to login. Don't worry about the Google or Facebook login. We already gave you username and password. So you'll go ahead and enter your username and then your password. And both of these will be located on that uh, colorful card that we sent home with all of your usernames and passwords on them. Once you have both of those in, you go ahead and click login. And that'll bring you right to your first page here. So the only thing you need to really um, worry about on your home page here is the My Assignments. That's going to have everything on it. This will say when they're due. Um, I believe most of us gave about two weeks to have them all done just so you can get familiar with it. It's no big rush um, as you do them here. So I have lots of assignments because I assigned myself everything that I assigned everyone else just so I can uh, go through it and watch it. And if you guys need help, I can go back and look at the lesson. Um, easily kind of in the same mode you would see it in um, and so um, anything that has kind of the little play button logo is going to be a video and then anything with the star is going to be a little quiz that goes with it so I'm going to show you my next page here so this is what it would look like you'd have assignments they would all just be blank ready to start so the first one I'm looking at would be the lesson is greater than and less than symbols so I can go ahead and click start this lesson and you're gonna have a video that comes up right away and so you'll just be watching a video I'll play a little bit of that to see what it looks like most of us are familiar with the equal sign from our earliest days of arithmetic you might see something like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 now a lot of people might think when they see something like this that somehow equal means give me the answer 1 plus 1 is a problem equal means give me the answer and 1 plus 1 is 2 that's not what equal actually means. Equal is actually just trying to compare two quantities. When I write 1 plus 1 equals 2. So it'll be that type of video here. You can watch it. They're usually pretty short. They're all about five minutes or under. And so you would watch a video. It's going to talk about the equal sign. It's going to talk about greater than, less than, um, those type of things. And then once you finish the video, you can click Next Assignment. Um, sometimes there might be one or two videos to watch uh, in order. And then there'll be kind of a little practice quiz. And so they're all seven questions that I've seen so far. They don't go above that, don't really go below that. Um, but everybody will have different questions. And if you ever need to redo it, it'll also give you um, different questions um, on the redo. So once we're ready to go, we can hit let's go. And here's what your quiz will look like. So on all of them, it won't read the questions to you. So if you need help uh, with the reading, you might have to ask a sibling or a parent to help you with the reading of the quiz. Otherwise, you can just kind of follow the directions as you go. So this is a fill in the blank. We have a 35, we have an 84, and we need to choose. Is 35 less than 84? Is 35 equal to 84? Or is 35 greater than 84? And so you just go ahead and pick your answer and then click check. And if you get it right, that's what it'll look like. So we can just hit X here and then go on to the next question. So we have fill in the blank. Again, 56 something 65. Is it less than 65, equal to 65, or greater than 65? So I click my answer again, hit check. Uh, for this one, I'll show you what it looks like uh, if we get it wrong. So here we have 61 blank 66. Um, and so for this one, I'm just going to say they're both equal, even though I know they're not, to show you what a, an incorrect answer will look like. So when I click check, it'll say not quite right, try again. We can get help or move on. So you can just kind of skip this problem 
um, and come back and try to redo the quiz later. Or you can click the Get Help. This will kind of give you the answer and walk you through it. So this is showing a breakdown of the two problems here. So this one means less than, this means equal to, this symbol means greater than. And it's going to show 61, this is what it looks like, 6 tens and 1 1. And this is what 66 looks like, 6 tens and 6 ones. So which one of these two amounts would be more? We can see that this is the greater amount, this would be the less than amount. And so 61 is less than 66. And so then we pick our symbol, 61. This is the less than symbol. Um, and so then I can go back up top and re-answer the question correctly. If you ever need help, there's always a link to the videos as with it as well to re-watch. So I'm going to click my less than now. I corrected my problem and hit check again. And now I got that one correct. And then I'm just going to continue as we go here to show you what the ending will look like. So we have 85 is greater than. Uh, 96 is greater than 16. <clears throat> this one's a little bit tricky. Looks like they're both the same. Same digits, but in different orders. So we have 34 is less than 43. And then 25 is greater than 18. And then I can show my summary once I'm all done. So I got 6 out of 7 correct. If I click done, it'll now show me that I've completed that one, but I have an 86%. Um, and so now maybe I'll go back and rewatch the lessons, or maybe I'll try again the next day. And so if I come back to it and I hit try again, just to show you, it's going to use different questions. So here we have 42 and 24. So not the same one we started with last time. And then you'll be able to go through and redo your quiz um, and try to get all seven correct. I'm not going to go through the whole thing again here, but you get the idea. And then you just move on to your next lesson as you go. So after you're done with this one, the very next one would be another quiz here right after that. Um, then it looks like there's another little seven question quiz here for place value. And then we get back into our lessons with our videos again as we go through it. So anytime you get stuck, it'll always give you the videos to, to re-watch. Um, some might be from your lesson. Some might be from different lessons that are um, videos that will help you out with it. And so that's what that'll look like. Uh, once you complete all of your assignments here, um, that's all you need to do for the week. You can always go back and retry to get that 100% on them. Um, and then each week we'll just be adding new assignments. So eventually um, they'll have past ones. So it'll look like this, ones that uh, the due date's expired on, um, ones you've already done. And then active, you always have the newest ones in here. And you can be able to see by the due date for which ones are going to be the, the ones you need to get done next. Um, so that's what Khan Academy looks like. If you ever need to log out, just go up to your name here and then click log out and that'll bring you right back to the, the home screen here and then if your siblings need to log on and use it it's ready to go for them um, uh, I can only stress whatever you do when you go to login just make sure you don't click here again that'll be creating your own account and you won't be able to see the assignments and stuff that we've given so just use the username and password that we've given you on your cards um, other than that I think that covers it if you have questions, let your teacher know and we'll answer them the best we can. So hope you enjoy it, hope you have fun with it, and uh, good luck. Bye.